Hi everyone, Anne-Marie Band here. Today is Thursday, December the 14th, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. Jerome Powell really gave the market all the dovish elements they needed, um, suggesting not three, but four potential rate cuts next year as inflation cooled. Um, he does not mind the markets running up hard, and that is what they are doing. Now, very interestingly, I suspect Again, continued dampening volume. I suspect that this is coming from um, short covering in, in some measure, but also some folks just chasing it up algorithmically, right? And so the next line in the sand is 473.54. What's the storyboard? Listen, um, Lagarde said that they're going to hold, I think, um, not cut. And I believe the Bank of England may have a statement, but I have not read that one yet. Um, but here's the thing, their economies are still in contraction when I think the evidence is a little mixed about where we are headed in terms of uh, contraction versus expansion. There's certainly some things expanding. And as I mentioned, if you happen to listen to me on business radio on Sirius, um, what we talked about was the banks, all the major banks being very keenly aware that their biggest clients holding their biggest debt needed that debt restructuring and they did it in really fine financial form, right? And so don't ever underestimate the financial wonks sitting back there figuring out a way to keep us uh, in between the lines so that they can get their money at the end of the road. So they're kicking the can down the street a little bit. There is going to be uh, some pain in the future, but as far as the market goes, everything's going really well. Let's take a look at the numbers that we've blown through, okay? Yesterday was a solid grind up and then pure acceleration after Jerome Powell got on stage. And then this is the uh, opening and closing event of the overnight, right? Because we're looking at the four hour candlestick formations. Dips are still buy zones. Where are the dips gonna be? Well, they look awful shallow, don't they? So let's, let's raise a few of them. Let's look at this one at 470. That's kind of a big number. Let's put an alert there. And we want to, um, we want to do that. See if it comes in at 470, still a buy zone. Listen, if it stops bouncing at 470, the volume up here is thin because I still believe that what's happening is that traders are getting out of the market on the rises. Now, we've got a butterfly that is deep in the money, so we're going to do some organizing here on the short side of it, but we're going to give the markets about 90 minutes to settle out. And so that's going to work out just right into our Zoom. I'm going to do the Zoom early today so that we can get... Uh, in the active space here. So um, look for me at about 11.30 Eastern, 10.30 Central. All right, levels to watch, top. We need an alert here. 473.54. Remember, that's the number from 2021 over here, that high. And then above it, we have the close of that month, uh, 474.96. And then the open of the following month. And then, of course, we've got these massive highs up here. What is this number? That 479.98. All right. So pullbacks or buy zones. Remember, we can look at the chart in disbelief, but if you're not following the direction of the ribbons and you're trying to pick a bottom or a top, in this case, trying to pick a top, you're going to get smashed. So pump the brakes. If you're looking for a short, try the double top of this. But do you see how the buyers are coming in at that 471.84? You better take profit there because otherwise you're very likely to be upside down. Let's go to the queues. Q is also doing crazy things. Uh, if you did the, the butterfly spread that the Q's were on, that is in great shape. I mean, that's in fantastic shape. Um, it's sitting right at the top of the range. Let's take a look at where we are relative to motion. 405.59 is current pricing. The high of the scandal is 404.58. If we lose that ledge and don't immediately recapture it, there's going to be an issue with uh, buying, but having a bunch more risk open up. The number below there is 402.28. Have we stopped heading higher? Well, not really, right? Here we have a high and then a higher high and a higher high. We're not closing higher, but we do have something that says, hang on here. I think this one is a little long in the two. Okay. So what do we have to do? One, fail to close higher. Two, test support. We just did that at the 403.70 area, right? 40370. I'm just going to put it there. I know it's a little noisy. We'll clean them up. But 40470, excuse me, 
yeah, 404.50. If we lose that area, 403.70 and then 402.28. So have we failed to close higher? Potentially, have we tested support? Yes. Have we bounced and gotten a lower high? No. So only one of the three conditions for short have been set up here. Be careful. Pullbacks are buy zones and traders who are short and short heavy are chasing to get out of the market. All right. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Pullbacks are buy zones. Be patient with the formations. IWM. Unbelievable move. This is just unbelievable move. The continued dash for trash in my mind. It's still underperforming everything, but finally coming into the areas where wicks really start showing up. And so here we have this edge at 193.93. Are they going to try and test 200? Potentially, right? 200 has sort of been the sweet area. 202, and then maybe, eh, let's move it to this one over here, 201. But pullbacks are buy zones, no doubt about it. Man, oh man, that, this is insane. Here, this 193, you notice they're holding above it. We're going to watch that. But pullbacks are definitely buy zones, and we'll be adding some uh, spreads that are going to give us some easy ways of moving. Let's see if they've rolled. They, oh, they should have rolled this, yeah? Four, seven, two, let's see. No, they haven't rolled it yet. Okay. It's going to happen probably Friday or next week. We'll be going back to the ES1. All right, taking a look at this. 4761, top of the range. Holy smokes. 4800, next line in the sand. 4782, is that right? No, 4795, 4793. That's what they're going after today, right? Hold extra buy zones. Here's our 4761 breakaway. Let's put an alert on this one. Oh, for the love of Pete, come on. All right, I am going to... All right, I'm going to move this one up so we can see what 4770 looks like. And then we're going to create an alert for this zone. And then 4791 to 4800. It looks like they want to test it, right? All of this pretty thin volume, right? So if we lose 47.70, you want to really be cautious. Um, but this is where they're headed, 47.93, 4,800. Are a lot of people going to try and short that edge? Yes. And that could give us another blow off top into the 4,900 region, right? It's, you know, it's crazy. We could see 5,000 without too much of a headache. That's insane. Insane. All right, here we go. NQ, uh, all-time highs right now. And is that right, all-time highs? Yeah, I think so, all-time highs. So let's do a Fibonacci. All right, I'll be done. Yes, I'll be done in two minutes. Take a look at Fibonacci. We've got 17,000 as our next marker. And the chart does look a little exhausted, remember. High, fails to hold higher. Now it's testing support. Remember, you're going to have bounces right here at this flagpole. At the top there. Okay? Now, pullbacks or buy zones, folks. Pullbacks or buy zones. Look at your wicks, and you're all set. Okay? I'll see you on the platforms.